So just a couple of details I want to add. We'll do like another minute and do some rolls. So I am really important emphasizing getting my pack on the back of Mars's neck and keeping it there. So it's here. I'm dropping weight, kind of like a sprawl. And then as I walk forward, I'm not letting this come up. If it comes up, the pressure comes off and his head comes out. The other thing, if his elbow is tight, I'm going to come in and get a guillotine on that side. So Mars' elbow is going to be blocking that guillotine with my hand, right? The only reason I'm going to fight this out is because he's blocking me from just going straight to his chin. Does that make sense? So I'm here. He's going to be blocking my hand. Then I'm going to dig behind. Let's hit this. And then the last thing, when I'm walking forward, we can walk straight into mount, but if we walk at a little bit of an angle, it's better. So this side where I have my knee that would come down on my headquarters is kind of, that's the direction we're going to go to. And we're going to keep this leg up. And I did. So I'm here. And I have this kind of finishing. Wow. So because of this foot, I can finish with this hip pressure. Whereas when we're here, it takes really tough to get my hip uh, distance in. Those details make sense? Any questions? Not be able to see his neck ever along the guillotine. Sometimes it'll pop out a little bit at the end, but like my my uh, cue in my head should always be that I can't see it. So like right here, my shoulder's totally covering his neck. It should be pretty easy to finish. So I'm out here. I can squeeze a lot, and it's not going to choke him very much. Because you can see this big piece of his neck. I need to be this deep, not this deep. Cool. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Open mat is up next. I played on three. One, two, three, <laughs> <laughs>